Uh, hello everyone, this is Zhao Ran from Huawei. I'm glad to be here to make this presentation about cloud native edge computing and AI in 5G MEC. This work is completed by our team. The team members are Zane, Zhang Qi, Cao Jun, Zheng Guang, and Kevin. Um, uh, here is the agenda of this presentation. First, I will introduce the cloud native mobile edge uh, computing and our proposed reference architecture. Then I will talk about the cross carrier MEC interconnection based on cloud native edge computing. Next, I will map our reference implement, implement to the architecture standard of 3GPP SA6. And last, an application of Edge AI on cloud native 5G MEC will be introduced. Uh, cloud native mobile edge computing. What is edge, uh, cloud native? Uh, uh, in the definition of CNCF, cloud native technologies empower organizations to build and run scalable applications in modern dynamic environments such as public, private, and hybrid clouds, containers, service mesh, microservice, immutable infrastructure, and declarative APIs exemplify this approach. These techniques enable loosely coupled systems that are resilient, manageable, and observable. Combined with robust automation, they allow engineers to make high-impact changes frequently and predictably with minimal toy. And what is MEC? Um, mobile Edge Computing. In the definition of ETSI, Mobile Edge Computing provides an IT service environment and cloud computing capabilities at the edge of the mobile network. It can sync network services to the wireless access network side closer to mobile users. When combining cloud native and mobile edge computing, we will get many advantages such as agility, scalability, continuous delivery, DevOps, and fault recoverable, recoverability. Um, in the field of cloud native edge computing, there is a popular open source project called KubeEdge. KubeEdge is an open source system built up upon Kubernetes for extending native containerized application orchestration capabilities to hosts at Edge. It is proposed to CNCF by Huawei. Uh, in March 2019, the, proje the project entered CNCF sandbox, and in this June, uh, it has just released the 1.3 version. Uh, the open source community of Kube Edge is very active and has gained a lot of attention. There are many contributors from different organizations uh, contribute to it. In these contributing organizations, there are cloud com company, carriers, IT companies, and academies. Uh, Kubeage has, provide, uh, has provided many abilities in cloud native edge computing, such as uh, edge node management, application scheduling, application lifecycle management, edge mesh, and so on. In the future, it will realize more features like uh, service discovery, service catalog, mobility management, collaboration between cloud and edge and ETC. Uh, our proposed 5G edge path is based on Kubeage, and some of the features and functions mentioned above will be introduced in the following part. Uh, this figure this figure shows the architecture of our proposed platform. It is a system 
for orchestrating edge application in multi edges with 5G networking, inspired by ETSI. Multi access edge computing standards. Uh, the red colored part in the is the um, uh, concepts of ETSI. Uh, let's see the specific design of this architecture. In the definition of ETSI, we need a, uh, we need a IMEO, multi-access edge orchestrator, to maintain overall edge stations, edge nodes, network resource, application services, and topology. Here, we make a module global manager and orchestrator to play the role of MEO. Uh, as for MEPM, uh, multi-access edge platform manager, we use Kubernetes master to manage the life cycle of applications and edge nodes, which is a pretty cloud native way. Uh, we make a module named service catalog um, on the cloud and the service broker on the edge node to manage overall application services. More detailed in introduction about service catalog will be presented later. Uh, we develop uh, edge call, edge call uh, as MEC platform. Edge call is a lightweight edge agent for Kube Edge, which can manage applications on edge nodes and synchronize resource status between cloud and edge through the control plane channel, uh, which is the blue line in this figure. Uh, the green line, the green line represents the data plane, uh, the traffic from user app applications, uh, or this from user applications is routed by the gateway to the service containers through the cluster network. Um, one of the problems that 5G MEC will meet is the traffic routing across site, from edge to edge and from edge to cloud. Uh, application cannot get a way to access the virtualized application on another site. Edge Mesh is introduced to solve this problem. Edge Mesh uses sidecar mode to hijack the local application traffic. Mm. To solve this problem, Edge Mesh uses um, a, Edge Mesh can uh, use sidecar to achieve unified traffic routing. Edge Mesh can provide highly integrated service discovery and communication between cloud and edge. With the help of Edge, edge Mesh, the service visitors do not need to know the specific location of the service being accessed. Um, the service may be on the cloud or may be on another edge. The whole process of information traffic is all completed by Edge Mesh and the Cooperate Virtual Network. By using Edge Mesh, the system can get the ability of governance for routing, limiting, and fusing across the entire link of service communication. Uh, another problem of MEC is service management. Management. We introduced the service catalog to solve this problem, and it can provide, we call it backend as a service. Backend as a service, uh, BAAS, uh, allows developers to focus on the fronted a front end of their applications and leverage back end services without building or maintaining them. Uh, BAS solves all the back end scenarios uh, except computing in the application landing process, such as location services for 5G edge uh, scenarios, uh, wireless network information services, such as database services message queues, and storage services. When developers use the BAS service, they don't no longer need to perceive, perceive the service operation and maintenance of the backend, 
put forward service requirements and enjoy the service. In the traditional scenarios, the developer's operation and maintenance team should care about the details of the operation and maintenance of various dependent components, such as databases and queues. A service catalog can manage all list and life cycle of the services in this system. When a new service is deployed, it should be registered to the service catalog. And when an application wants to access the, the, the other service in this system, it should search for the list and service catalog will, be, will bind an available instance to this application for accessing. Um, service catalog make it possible about application backend as a service. Developers can use components and functions on demand without the need to understand the implementation details of other service backend. Based on BAS, developers only need to focus on their business logic. Uh, the service which edge computing can provide is limited by ge geographic location. People travel all around the world and they want to access edge computing services everywhere, which can lead to the trend of, uh, the trend of operators joining together to provide cross-carrier MEC services. Uh, here is our reference architecture of cross-carrier MEC. Uh, we proposed operator platform to the GSMA operator platform group and the specific solution is still being discussed. Operator platform, we call it OP, is in the upper layer of the aforementioned system. OP will federate multiple op operators edge computing infrastructure to give application providers access to a global edge cloud to run innovative distributed and low latency services through a set of common APIs. Uh, Northbound Interface, uh, NBI, is in charge of service management for application providers. Uh, East and West Bound interface, uh, EWBI, can exchange data information and control uh, structures with other OPs. Uh, southbound interface, uh, SBI, connects the OP with the specific operator infrastructure that will deliver the network services and the capabilities to the user. Uh, user network interface provides uh, UNI provides user equipment with access to OP. Uh, this system, this system with OP can provide application templates for developers supporting global deployment between operators and cloud with different scheduling policy based on location, delay, and other conditions. Uh, for example, an application provider wants to deploy an application of game. The application can be divided into three components, data, game, game server, and cache. Uh, the three parts need different requirements for deployment. Uh, the requirement of data might be deployed on the cloud for global access. The requirement of game server might be deployed both on cloud and edge uh, for global uh, to provide service for users. Uh, the game server needs a scheduling policy of the minimal latency because of the delay sensitivity, sensitivity of the game. And in, other, in order to uh, shorten, shorten the access delay of data, the part of cache needs to be deployed on the edge. Uh, NBI can provide the application templates for the providers to post the requirement of resources 
including uh, computing resources uh, such as CPU and memory and so on, and the storage resources. The application provider can post his requirement of scheduling policy and other information of the deployment from OP via NBI as well. Uh, if the provider wants to deploy his game across OPs and, um, and if he's willing to pay for this, uh, the orchestrator and scheduler can deploy his service uh, between edges and clouds of other operators and schedule his application instance according his requirement and scheduling policy. The template of application is cloud native, which can make it easy for application provider to deploy across both cloud and edge. Uh, we have talked about the view of application providers. Now let's see from the view of users. The module uh, Edge Configuration Edge Configuration uh, System uh, Server uh, that is ECS can assign an edge access point to the user equipment, providing service discovery and the nearest access. When a user moves from one region to another, he may access the application from different operator network. The ECS can find the best application edge instance for the user to access. Uh, if there's no such application deployed on the best edge site, the system can deploy a new instance to serve the user if the scheduling policy permits to do this. If there are no available 5G edge for the current location, the UE can directly access the nearest, uh, the nearest, uh, the nearest cloud application instance. Uh, the mobility management involves the problem of collaboration. Applications maintain a copy of cached data at each edge. Uh, Synced to the cloud finally with uh, collaboration between cloud and edge. And when a user moves from one edge to another, uh, the data shall also move through uh, edge mesh uh, to achieve data consistency for the user. The data consistency mechanism needs further study. Uh, some standardization organizations also have some work in this area, and many criteria are proposed. Our proposed architecture can make uh, can meet the requirement of the other organizations, as I have mentioned above, such as um, ETSI and GSMA. Now I will uh, map our reference implement to the criteria of 3G, 3GPP SA6. Um, uh, Edge Enabler Client, uh, EEC, is a component of user equipment. It can provide configuration information to enable the exchange of application data traffic with the Edge application server and find, find Edge application servers available in the Edge data network. Um, Edge Enabler Server can provide information related to the Edge application server to the Edge Enabler client and support the functional list, uh, functionalities of API invoker and API exposing function. Edge Configuration Server, as we mentioned before, can provide the EES uh, configuration information to the EEC. Uh, the MEC platform has been built. In the last section, let's see an application of Edge AI on cloud-native 5G MEC. 
uh, Edge node is close to users, and the AI application on Edge node can quickly infer results. But the inference accuracy may not be idle because of the limited computing power of Edge nodes. We introduced the Edge Cloud Collaborative Inference. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Uh, we introduced the uh, Edge Cloud collaborative inference in our system. A small inference uh, model, a small small node model, uh, runs on Edge node, focusing on recall quickly. When the judgment model uh, finds the result is not accurate enough, the inference job shall be transferred to the cloud where a big model runs to infer again, uh, focusing on accuracy. The Edge Cloud collaborative inference can reduce Edge resource um, consumption and improve model in inference accuracy. Uh, we deploy a system to handle the safety helmet detection scenarios. Um, inference on edge only can get uh, misdetection uh, when there is a painting on the wall. Uh, and the inference with edge cloud uh, collaboration can get higher accuracy without recognizing the painting on the wall as the target. Uh, the engineering practice shows that the edge cloud computing uh, Edge Cloud uh, collaboration mode can promote the accuracy from 78% to uh, 92%. Uh, now let's make a summary. A cloud native way can make the 5G MEC more flexible and more powerful. It can achieve more functions to provide a better service experience uh, for both service providers and application users. And the cloud native 5G MEC is receiving more, more and more attentions from different standard standardization organizations such as ETSI, GSMA, and 3GPP. The different organizations standard focus on different aspects of the 5G MEC. Our proposed architecture can solve many problems at the 5G MEC by, introduce, uh, by introducing a set of cloud native models and some components such as service catalog, edge mesh, and OP, uh, which can promote cloud native of edge computing. Our architecture has been rec recognized uh, by those organizations mentioned above. At last, um, a small use case uh, shows the Edge Cloud AI on cloud native 5G MEC can make better effect. Uh, in the future, we, we will improve the technical details, including collaborative al algorithms and scheduling algorithms to make our system more powerful. And the system will be practiced in more scenarios with uh, more partners. Uh, of course, we are, happy to, we are happy to make more cooperation with more universities and research inst institutes. Uh, OK, that's all I want to share about the cloud native edge computing in 5G MEC. Uh, thank you all for listening.